No one expected Memphis to upset number seven Cincinnati on the road, but that 49 to 10 loss, that was the worst blowout the Tigers program has seen in almost a decade. The Bearcats stifled the Tigers at every angle. Memphis's run game, for example, managed just three yards compared to Cincinnati's 242. For a program that has come so far in recent years, a shellacking of this magnitude, even from a top 10 team, fell short of their standards. We got out coached and we got out played in all three phases. And I've got to start by saying what I can do to improve as a head coach, because ultimately it falls on me. It wasn't good enough. Losing isn't okay at all. Um, doesn't matter who the hell you play. I don't care if we come in and play an NFL team. Uh, we expect to win. Those guys, they came out to play. I feel like they came out with it on their minds. I got to figure out what we got to do as a team to get where we are. The sky is not falling. Right? I mean, there's a reason why we're able to win some of those games, and we do have a winning record right now. Am I pleased with the result that I know? I'm absolutely disgusted. And I've got to do a better job of making sure we're heading in the right direction, and I think we'll be fine. And we just hope we like the result, uh, you know, at the end of the day after next Saturday. At 2-2 two and two in conference, the Tigers face an uphill battle if they hope to reach their fourth straight conference championship game. Now, Memphis' 2018 squad was the only team to reach the title game with more than one conference loss. But that was back when there were divisions. This year, the top two overall teams in the conference go. For Local 24 Sports, I'm Clayton Collier.